everybody, welcome back to TCS Dart Frogs. My name is Travis, and today I'm going to show you how to build a DIY misting system. So I know that there's a lot of misting systems or foggers or things such as that on the market, and this is going to be um, possibly a little bit cheaper, but in a similar price range to, say, like a Mist King system. Um, one of the big benefits is that the nozzles that I show you how to make you can make those for a lot cheaper than the nozzles that you would buy from say Mist King or something like that and uh, don't get me wrong I have nothing uh, against Mist King they make a really good product um, they're just a little bit expensive for me so I want to show you guys what I use and just share that knowledge with you guys and if you're looking to do like a display tank a uh, misting nozzle from like Mist King or another professional misting company that works really well and they have a really clean looking product what I'm going to show you how to make is a little bit more, um, you know, not aesthetically pleasing. So it, it's not the prettiest misting system, but it works and it's the least expensive way you can build a misting system in my opinion. So let's get started. So for supplies, you're going to want some sort of a bucket or other type of reservoir, preferably with a lid. You'll also want a pump specifically for aquaponics or hydroponics. You'll also need some high pressure tubing, some scissors, quarter inch quick connect bulkhead unions, quarter inch quick connect tees, quarter inch quick connect elbows, and misting nozzles. I would like to mention also that these misting nozzles, if not put together correctly, can come apart from the pressure of the pump, so it's very important to make sure that they're tightly fitted together. If you have a glass lid on your tank and you're planning on drilling the lid, then you'll also need a drill and some diamond drill bits. All of these products you can find online and most of them you can find at your local hydroponics store if you have one and I will leave links in the description for all the products that I used or a similar product if I couldn't find a source for it online. So first I'm going to show you how to assemble a single misting nozzle. So what you'll do is take one of the elbows and you're going to take a small piece of the high pressure line and insert it into one side of the elbow and then you're going to take your misting nozzle and you have to force the barbed end onto the high pressure line and this is probably the hardest part of making these nozzles it is not easy to get that barb into that line it's a very tight fit which you need because it's going to be high pressure water flowing through there and if you don't get it on there all the way uh, you could have leaks so that part is pretty difficult but I promise that's the hardest part of making these nozzles and I also apologize for my ugly dry hands now after you've got that done you're going to take another piece of the high pressure tubing and insert that into your bulkhead and then the other end of that tubing is just going to go into the other end of your elbow and you've got a misting nozzle. Now if you want to make a two-headed nozzle all you would do is take two misting heads attach them to two elbows and then with some smaller pieces of tubing attach those to a T and you have a misting nozzle which can move in all sorts of different directions and although it's not the prettiest nozzle it works very effectively and this is what I use in my larger tanks alright now to install the actual pump onto your reservoir you're just gonna want to take one of the pieces of tubing and put it into the inlet side of the pump most pumps will be marked with a directional flow so that you can know which side the water is being sucked into and which side the water is being pushed out of. So once you know which way it flows, it should be easy to attach an inlet hose 
and an outlet hose. You'll also want to drill a small hole in the top of your bucket. That way you can run the line easily through your bucket right into the water. Now the next thing that I like to do is I like to take a small filter sponge and attach it to the inlet side of the hose just with a standard zip tie and this is going to help prevent any sorts of clogs or any debris going through your line and getting caught in your misting heads. When you attach the zip tie, you do want to make sure that it's fastened really tight. That way, no debris can get past the top of the filter sponge. And I'll leave the link to one of these sponges in the description also. It's just a filter sponge that you would put on the intake of a hang on the back filter for aquariums. And then you're just going to put that back on top of your bucket and you're gonna put another piece of tubing on the other side and of course you can run lots of different configurations but you can basically just attach a misting head to that and that will work but it's usually a lot easier if you run uh, different elbows and tees so you don't have um, a whole bunch of cord running everywhere and it's as simple as that to set up your misting system So here I have a price breakdown of roughly what it would cost per each product and the smaller items like the bulkheads, tees, and misting nozzles are all listed per unit. Generally you have to buy these in a 5 pack or 10 pack so they would be a little bit more expensive but you're also getting more of the product. So for the complete setup you're looking at about $110 to $150 depending on where you buy your products at and per single nozzle you're looking at $4.15 and the double nozzles would come out to $5.50. So this is how my system is set up and if you look in the bucket you can tell that there are a lot of fruit flies and other debris that builds up in there and you can clean it out obviously but that filter sponge really helps to filter things out and then I've got the tube running up here I have a ball valve for each shelf and I will leave a link in the description for those ball valves as well so that if you guys want to purchase those I think they're really useful especially if you want to use one pump to try to supply multiple tanks or multiple shelves and say you only want to spray one shelf or one tank you can control that. The other thing that's nice about these quick disconnect fittings is that if I want to do maintenance on a tank and pull that tank off the shelf, it's easy for me to disconnect that tank from the line. And also if I want to take the nozzle off or the whole nozzle assembly off, with those bulkheads it's really easy to just unscrew them and either replace it or take it out and service it. So here are some of the misting nozzles in action just to give you an idea of what kind of spray they have. I would say that the spray is comparable to other misting nozzles that I've used. Alright, thank you for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed already, I'd love it if you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you guys have any questions, comments, or suggestions for future videos, please let me know down below in the comments. If you guys want to check out my social media, I'll leave the links to my Facebook and Instagram in the description. And if you guys want to check out my website, it's tcsstartfrogs.com. Also just want to thank you guys for all the views that my frog room tour got. Um, that thing has absolutely exploded and it gets me really excited about making videos. So thank you once again for watching and thank you for all the people who've subscribed. So just wanted to say that you guys have a great day.